yakin mulai terima kaupun semua harga kedapan cabut di atas ini dan mahu
isa ka mayag-ayag na gumimbo sa atong tanan sa pihak sa mga nagakana po subong sa atong puso ginaginagin sa atong syudad sa diyakon ako ng kalipay na makadala sa inyong sa akin sa atong so kabay pa ang biskandihin man kita subong yan sa sunog sinong simbahan sa atong mga pulihan sa atong mga trabaho sa atong tingkong kumalimod na oras mapamatian nato ang pagpapanalaguan ang mga pulong sa atong mga ako. Ang atong nga teksto para sa buong haga makita sa Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 to 16, and it says, Through Jesus, therefore let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess His name, and do not forget to do good and to share with others For with such sacrifices, God is peace. Ang author sa sinulatan sa Hebrews is shrouded in mystery. Biska na mga sa tuuna na mga mangin alamon sa simbahan ka ang origin. Hindi makasigurado kung sino gid ang tutuod na nagsulat sila yung dinalan. Several theories regarding the author's identity have been proposed over the years, but all of them contain significant problems. It might be Paul or other disciples, but what matters the most is the occasion of the writing. Kung masahon natin ang Hebrew, it reflects a strong Jewish character. Takogit ang Jewish character na aras ni Libro ini. And that helps us narrow the date of its composition, more likely in 1864 to 69. This is because significantly, the book makes no reference to the destruction of the temple in AD 70. Bisken of strong Jewish character sa book of Hebrews, wala siya nag-mention sa pagbaba sa temple. So more likely, it is written in AD 64 and 69. And With its myriad of reference in the Hebrew customs and in the Old Testament, this book was more likely to be sent to the Jewish Christian community. Gin padala ini sa mga Jewish Christians sa mga komunidad, posibli sa Roma. The book of Hebrews is meant to challenge, encourage, and empower Christian believers. According to this letter, Jesus Christ is superior to all the prophets and all other claims to do. Since God has given us Christ, we ought to listen to what He says and not move backwards. It also says that the consequences of glory God are dire. And Hebrews is important for growing or growing on many portions of the Old Testament in making a case that Christ is the ultimate and perfect expression of God's plan for mankind. This book presents some, some tough ideas about Christianity. And these ideas and thoughts are extended specifically in Hebrews 13, verse 8 to 17, in the application to Russia. Ginag-istoryahan, ginag-extend din yung mga pangino-ino sa ginatawag pagsimba. This message is so timely for us today because on Friday lang din declare ang ECQ para sa bilog na probinsya sa Lulio. And the very first thing that came into my mind is how to transition once again from face-to-face worship into online worship. Kaya man tama kalipot ang notice ginatag sa ato. Tama kalipot sa tayo ginatag sa ato. The cookie na murdered sa ato kung paano kita mag-silo sa online worship kay mga nagnakukita sa baptist na pagtuluhan. E na din sa damay ako, as na nagdako ako sa mga simpahan na nga akong binagihan, nakita ko that baptist belief, especially conventional baptist, had strong attachment to structured worship. Silingan din sa mga tibulangan, makuntat ng tanan, hindi ang simpahan. Bisa ano pa kanda ni Lord, na 65 and below or 65 and above, hindi magpasimbahan, magpasimbahan ka kung makatulangan. Because we are so tied up with the structured worship that we know. Online, 
simpan nak Facebook Live, YouTube, simpan nak But what is worship? Anong ito lang katawag na pagsimpan? Brethren, it's okay. Worship is not about a specific location, a specific time, nor a specific practice. Ang pagsimba, hindi ang mukhang isa ka na talaga na doon, o kung na talaga agit na tiyon, o kung na talaga agit na liturhiya. Worship is the act of offering of sacrifices of praise to God. Again, worship is the act of offering of sacrifices of praise to God. The book of Hebrews was written to the Jews who was attuned towards a structured sacrificial worship in Jerusalem. Nagdakuin ng mga Hudyo, sunod sa pangunauna sa ng mga Hudyo, na ang simba dapat dito sa tempo. Na ang simba dapat may arak specific na sacrifice sa tubangan sa altar sa Diyos. Na ang simba na talaga sa isa ka specific na adlaw sa simana sa bulan sa buhay. Ang mukha ko nga ang kabutlay sa ila magpanunggong na ay ara ako sa Roma, ay ara ako sa ibang naloob. Paano na lang kami makasimba? Paano na lang? Ang ECQ na bubumot sa ato na magkato sa simbahan It forced us to worship in our homes. Kaka naman sa akin, siguro we might feel uncomfortable. Hindi sa na we are not used to this practice. It's not worship at all. But the proprietor, the book of Hebrews, is reminding us today that worship is not about the temple. It is about. It is not about the word of prayer. It is not about whether we are we are at home or inside our church. Online or face to face. Worship is the offering of sacrifices of praise to God. And wherever this is, there is a sacrifices of praise being offered to God, there is worship. So the inman of our offerings of our sacrifices of our to just in a hampal, in a pantay, in a mitla, dira, and pagsimba. What is this sacrifice of praise? As the writer of the book of Hebrews said, these are the fruit of the leaves that openly professes his name. Praises that pleases God is the fruit of our lips. More than just the thoughts directed towards God, it is spoken out unto the Lord, either in prose or in songs or in any other way or in testimonies. These are sacrifices of praises, fruits of our lips. As Guthrie had said, what proceeds from the leaves is regarded as fruit, which reveals the character of its source, as the fruit of a tree reveals the nature of the tree. Saying so Jesus, a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Let our mouths speak the goodness told in our hearts today. And may these words be a pleasing offering unto our Lord. Kabayan ng mga bibig na ito magsimba sa pagtayang sa ating binuho sa iyo. Magbunga sa mga sakripisyo sa pagpasalaman ng Christ. Second, brethren sa faith, The book of Hebrews reminds us that worship does not end in Amen. Sa kaya ako sa seminaryo, ang isa kami sa naman ang pangkot sa akon, sila nga, worship does not end in Amen. Please expound the statement. Sino maka-expound sila yung mga tinaga? May isa sa akin na last na natinigong sila nga. Worship does not end in Amen. Because worship ends with life. Pakamitaran ako na ating katalong dalo ng mga tinaga. Worship does not end in Amen because worship ends with life. Siling sa mga 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 worship does not end in Amen kaya man pagkatapos ng tripod Amen, nagkakanta kita Di ba? Na, 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 na,
pensato che mai l'aveva caricato io un giorno e ne chiedo un po'. Però è vero. Ma tutto ordina. Ma tutto ordina. Adam Ansato è still in prison in the notion that worship ends in England. Nga ang worship nagapatapos lang after ng kanta-kanta people in England. Nga ang worship nagapatapos lang sa pagbuhag na doon sa suruhin sa sinap. While inside the church, we sang heartfelt songs, praises from God, or praises to God. From, our, from the bottom of our hearts, we exalt God, pour out everything to Him in prayer, even shout Amen for every wonderful points in the home. Yet leaving all this in the church after the threefold year, returning to our old selves, the old wretched sinners of God. That after everything you have experienced, after all the praises, the thanksgiving, the prayer, pagkatapos ng ibig, balik man kita sa mga makasasala na kung mga kahundi. Brethren, in faith, worship never ends in Amen for it goes on. Worship continues to our lives. Silingan isang ating text, Through Jesus, therefore, that is continually offered to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess to say. Kung chingon, magpadayon. Magpadayon kita sa pagsimba sa ating dino, sa pag-offer sa ating dino, sa mga sacrifice sa pagdayon. Worship goes on to us. We continue to offer a sacrifice of praise to God. We continue to worship sa ating Diyos. And you know, this leads us to the third point this morning. Good work is worship. Worship continues because good work is worship. Sinang sa natin text, And do not forget to do good, to share with others. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. The word sacrifice in this passage is related to the blood sacrifice in the altar at the temple. Good work, or rather good works, are pleasing sacrifice to God. Thus, good work is a form of worship of God. Sitting at the Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ. Jesus, or rather created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Rather than say faith, by doing the work God assigned to us, we obey God. And by doing so, we glorify God. We honor God. We honor His intentions in our lives. Through the good works that we are doing, we worship God. Makakali na hata ang explain siya pala sa sa istorya, sa libro, sa Genesis. When The book of Genesis was written, or in its core theology, wala ko dito sa tanpon? Wala ko dito sa, sa tanta, sa pagdalaw? Wala ko dito sa mga structured worship na ginapakita? But it does not mean that the people are not worshiping God. No. They worship God through good works. Brethren, as human beings, we should bear fruit and multiply and exercise the stewardship over the creation. And by doing so, we are actually glorifying our God. And in the core essence, worshiping. Sa ating pagbuwan sa mga ayos, at alis ito pa rin para sa ating kalibutan na kapagdahayon kita na nagasin ba sa Diyos. Good works are at least in sacrifice to God. Good works is a form of worship of God. Matutuwa ng isip Diyos sa buong ang ilino. Ang bukos ng ilino, ang madamot sa ating ang nag-expressal din sa nila na kasubukan ganunan. 
Dapat ko na ba? Kung ay, hindi naman galing kita ng magkasimba. Kung ay naman galing simba. Ganda lang sa Pedro. ECQ and ECQ, GCQ and GCQ, ano ba pa nila mabasa ng GCQ? Quarantine magmalaki tayo. It does not mean that we could not worship God. Because worshiping God is not bounded by time nor place, nor a specific practice. For as long as we sacrifice or we offer a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruits of, our, of the lips are being uttered in honor of Him. We are worshiping our Creator. As long as good works are done, worship continues. And that is the challenge for us today. Let us continue to worship our Lord every time, every moment. May God bless us all. Ano ba da ang mahatag ko sa ginoo tungkol sa kananiyan na kaayos sa ako? Sa pagtilipon sa kananiyan ng mga tao at tatang siya sa akong binsaan. Minahagda ang tanda sa pagdala sa ilang mga dulot
simple suggestion na pagdayo. Sometimes, mga hibig na ito, mga naamba sa pagdayo ang pasigila. Sometimes, mga kaputa ito, mga buhat sa mga hiling ito, sa pamatuuran ng kaayon para sa himayag sa ating Diyos, ang pagsimba ng pagdayo. Kani karoon na ang isahay sa mga kung makaako na hinag ka sa tanan, pag-isahay ka sa mga kung kaupol sa pagpakabahay, kung nagigitan sa amal, sa anak, at sa balaan ng Espiritu Santo, Mayara sa ating kamun, kutong sa matutuban. Amen, Amen, and Amen.